Guys, in this video, why I think water is the best general purpose source of hydration, better than juice, better than diet soda, better than coffee. Water is probably one of the most versatile things that you can use to stay hydrated throughout the day, generally speaking, and I'm gonna go over some of the reasons why and some tips and tricks as to how to best optimize your water consumption for best hydration and good health. And don't worry, I'm gonna give you the weight reduction tips regarding water starting right now in the beginning of the video. Without question, one of the easiest, simplest hacks for drinking water to manage your weight or reduce your weight is to utilize water as a way to fill up your stomach prior to consuming food. The reason is that as you consume the water, it fills up in your stomach and prevents you from feeling overly hungry, which could significantly assist you in basically overcoming your hunger pains and your desire to have food that maybe is too high in calories or not that good for you containing a lot of empty sugars and calories. So water is a great way to just use it as a filler prior to your meal to avoid over consuming calories. Another way that water could help you reduce weight and this is an important one, and that is that a lot of times people over drink fluids, especially if they drink diet sodas or any artificially sweetened drink. The problem with those is not, in my opinion, that they're diet or artificially sweetened. It's the fact that they taste so good that a lot of people overconsume it, and as a result, the overconsumption of that fluid, which does contain water as well, flushes out vital uh, minerals such as sodium, potassium, and basically what's happening is your body is sending a signal to overeat the next meal to replenish some of those minerals, including salt and so you know sodium and potassium, that it lost or got washed away because you overconsume fluids because the diet soda or artificially flavored juice tasted so good that you basically just drank too much. So if you just stick to water, here's what's going to happen you're gonna wind up drinking less of it. And the reason is simple, guys, because water does not contain any kind of a sweetener. There's less of a chance that you're gonna overconsume it in a short period of time, thereby you're not gonna have the danger of flushing out too much of your uh, potassium and your sodium and your salt. So water is a good drink, guys, but you want to be careful not to consume other drinks that are artificially sweetened that contain water but that cause you to overdrink. Drink water because you're less likely to overdrink it because it's it doesn't taste like candy and that's like a natural way for your body to limit its intake of fluids to a safe and acceptable level. As far as some of the other benefits of water, well, water is pretty convenient to consume and to carry around and just to have in general. Check this out. Say you want cold water. Well, since it doesn't have carbonation and it doesn't have artificial sweeteners or anything or sugars or anything like that, it keeps very well under a variety of temperatures. Check this out. You could use basically snow as your own refrigerator to keep the water nice and cool. Hey, if you like cold beverages then definitely putting water outside in the snow you know might not be a bad idea plus there's the added convenience of if you buy cases of water then you might want to put them outside in the snow or in a balcony somewhere or in a patio where it does get exposed to cold temperatures so you don't want to in case you don't want to clog up your refrigerator with a giant case of water or multiple cases of water Another thing about water guys is that they're pretty inexpensive and that means that you can buy large quantities and get some of these uh, relatively large cases with a ton of bottles guys for pretty cheap. If you get them on sale, I've seen them as little as three of these big cases containing around 40 bottles or so for maybe around 10 bucks, maybe a little more depending on where you shop or you can get some of the cases that are slightly smaller and you definitely see those regularly for three for 10, three for 11 or something like that. So what, bottled water guys and especially remember plain water we're talking about here, great for just keeping on hand in large quantities because they're pretty cheap 
they taste good warm as well, in addition to, of course, cold, which is the way that I like it. It goes without saying that water is fantastic for the gym. Water is easy to transport and it fits into most hoodie pockets. And not only that, when you're in the gym running around, jumping around, since water has zero carbonation, you don't have to worry, unlike diet soda, of having a big surprise when you open it and you're jumping around. Water with zero carbonation will not have any issues on you when you open it after you know, high intensity movements. You can also very easily carry water in your car through various methods, especially if you have a lot of seasons where it gets hot or overly cold. For example, in addition to just using a cup holder, you can also store water in a nice cooler that you can buy to specifically transport water and smaller items in the convenience of just a very tidy compact form factor that will keep your contents like such as your water at an acceptable temperature whatever it is that you like cold or hot this is a great thing to have i'm going to leave a link in, a, in my video description down below so that you can buy one of these coolers guys and there's other ones that are smaller than this so that you don't have to worry about lugging such a humongous thing around but i like this size but i'm going to link to some very smaller uh, small ones that are a little bit more fashionable that you can enjoy and use and they work just the same Guys, I love the taste of water, but you know what plain water is not everybody's cup of tea so to speak if you are a person that is just very used to drinking highly sweetened drinks like sodas juices Starbucks frappuccinos and those have caffeine. That's another story, but they have a lot of sugar as well one thing that you can use to try to help you is to consume these artificial sweeteners that are very easy to actually utilize i'll show you right now real quick guys so these are basically crystal lights and there's others like these on the market uh, i like these type of ones guys for the occasional time when you want a little bit of something special in the water to make it more palatable and the reason this is good guys is because you could basically just apply a small amount that is gonna give you that little bit of sweetening that you need, but is not gonna overly make it too sweet so that it basically has a lot of calories. These do have calories, but it's very minimal. And if you just apply a little bit, try to utilize the smallest amount possible that still gives you a taste that allows you to drink more water. So the smallest amount possible, guys. It does have calories, not a lot. Read the label, because depending on the size of the container that it comes in, it could be a different calorie rating. But again, these are very low calories, and this is just a way that you can manually apply the amount of a sweetener to your water, as opposed to buying something that's already pre-sweetened you don't know how much they put in it and you really can't control it even though you may read the label you may want to be able to control that amount a little more so that you can not use as much of it and still get the benefit of the sweetened water and regarding artificially flavored drinks and beverages such as your diet sodas etc i don't think that they're that bad for you guys i actually drink a fair amount of those myself, including the water. I always make sure that I have water first and that I have most of my hydration needs met by water. However, that doesn't mean that I don't drink a lot of diet sodas because I think I do, guys. But again, not a huge amount either. So I'm doing pretty well. I monitor my health. I know that I'm doing okay because I'm drinking mostly water. And when you do that, you're not gonna over drink diet sodas to an extreme unhealthy amount because you're getting what your body needs from the actual water. So make sure guys that you don't think that you just have to drink water. I'm just giving you an option that contains water, which is very cheap, very healthy, very versatile, easy to use, take with you different places, and it is something you can use, but still have your you know, fun of drinking like diet sodas and diet beverages and things like that. And don't forget guys that one of the side effects of drinking a lot of water is that you're gonna have a ton of empty bottles and containers. So always make sure to help out the environment by keeping a recycling bag 
easily accessible in your home or in your car so that you can properly dispose of the empty plastic containers, which can be fairly harmful to the environment. Do your part to help protect the environment, guys. With that said, guys, hope you got something out of this video. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.